Hi friends, hope you're really well and I hope you're having a great weekend. Um, I just wanted to come um, and do a quick video um, with a word the Lord has put in my heart um, today. And it's funny, um, I was in church today and while I was um, in church, this word was mentioned in the, in the service by Pastor David and Pastor Abigail. And, uh, you know, and I heard it and, you know, obviously it resonated with me and um, came out of church. And, you know, obviously um, now I'm sat down and, you know, the, the Lord stirred my heart to uh, speak. And, and I was thinking, you know, what is he wanting me to say? And um, and then he put in my heart about uh, 2024, how it's going to be a great year for Christians. Um, he's doing something. And I said to the Lord, you know, obviously, I, I would like a Bible verse to go with this uh, in order to be able to, um, you know, speak this word that that is kind of burning in my heart. And he's given me the same sort of uh, passage as what was mentioned in church today, because when I read it, I thought, oh, this is the same kind of exact passage that, you know, um, I heard in church today. Maybe I don't know if it was from the same exact verse or it was from a different one because sometimes passages can be quite similar. But I just want to say um, what the Lord is doing right now is he's uh, bringing the church close to his heart in that uh, he's helping us to um, uh, to become disciples. Uh, so what that means is that uh, we become more uh, involved intimate with the word of God and as we obey the word of God and as it resonates in us and we live our daily life by it I know it's going to be hard and obviously for, even for me and uh, there's challenges every day especially uh, with the way things are in the world but God wants us to overcome this and on top of that he's actually um helping us press in even more into his word uh, for that discipleship so that we can basically be able to be doers of the word and um, all the times that we had before COVID where, you know, it wasn't as bad as the times we've been experiencing over the past few years. And um, we were just casually going to church, coming back, reading the word of God, living our daily lives normally. It's but it's under this type of pressure. Um, I don't know how to explain it, that the Lord is helping the church grow even more. And what this means is he's bringing us closer to his word. Um, and by that, what I'm saying is that he's disciplining us through his word. Um, there's going to be a lot of emphasis in the church in 2024 about people moving in the word of God, reading the word of God rather than being distracted by, you know, just um, just online sermons or, you know, going from place to place to look at, um, obviously, um, people who've got a message. There was, there's going to be an emphasis on people actually uh, thirsting and hungering for the word of God. And what that means is it's going to be a great blessing upon the church. Now, I'm going to read this passage uh, out loud and it's in Deuteronomy. This is what he's put in my heart. Deuteronomy um, chapter 28, and it says the blessing of for obedience and what this means is that when we do the word of God when we obey the word of God and we come in one accord and we are in one heart and we're obeying the word of God what happens is that there is abundance uh, the blessings will overflow and this is what we're going to see in 2024 even though that the world is going to see the opposite uh, with you know, obviously things that are happening, but the church is going to be flooded with people and there's going to be a uh, great, great uh, achievements and revival, especially in particular churches who are taking their walk really seriously with the Lord. So in Deuteronomy uh, chapter 28, we read, and if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord, your God, being careful to do all his commandments that I command you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall be, 
where am I? Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your womb, and the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your cattle, the increase of your herds, and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. The Lord will cause your, cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. The Lord will command the blessing on you in your barns and in all that you undertake. And he will bless you in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. The Lord will establish you as a people holy to himself as he has sworn to you, if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. And all the people of the air shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of you. <clears throat> and, the <coughs> excuse me, and the Lord will make you abound in prosperity in the fruit of your womb and in the fruit of your livestock and in the fruit of your ground, within the land that the Lord swore to your fathers to give you. The Lord will open to you his good treasury, the heavens, to give the rain to your land in its season to bless all the work of your hands. And you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. And you shall only go up and not down. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today, being careful to do them. And if you do not turn aside from any of the words that I command you today to the, to the right hand or to the left to go after other gods or serve them. Wow, you know, it's, it's quite amazing. I heard this today, wasn't thinking about it. I'm sat down, he stirred my heart saying that 2024 is going to be very significant uh, for the body of Christ. But it, that all depends on you and I. It depends on how much we want to be blessed. Uh, while the world is perishing, it's being destroyed, you know, um, by obviously um, sin, by things that, you know, are happening. The church, God is building the church stronger and what he's doing is his favor is working even more. And in 2024, he's building the church on his word. And because we're going to be walking in his word and we're going to be obeying his word, what we're going to see is everything that he's spoken in Deuteronomy 28 coming to pass for the church and the churches that are truly taking it seriously and wanting to become disciples. We are going to see the hand of God uh, moving in our midst, doing miracles and also blessing us, all of us in the church individually as a, as a result of our obedience to his word and to the body of Christ as we work together in unity, in oneness, in holiness. The only thing is we should not be uh, laid back. We should not be lukewarm. Uh, we should not be sort of uh, people even though we are tired, we are, uh, you know, we feel worn out. We feel like, you know, there's so many things happening. God is asking us to press in right now because this is when the blessings coming through right now is that people are going to start flooding into the church in 2024 uh, because they're going to see how good God has been to the body of Christ and they're going to be seeking help and we're going to be prosperous. But you need to press in now into the word of God. Do not look away, uh, but look directly at Jesus. Read the word of God. Walk with the word of God. Uh, you know, let it resonate in you, in you and be the doer of the word of God. And most of all, believe in what he's saying to you. Don't turn away from things that are in the world and just focus on what God is telling you in the Bible. And if you do what he's saying to you um, as a person as in the church, what happens is you're going to see abundance of blessing. And this is what's happen going to happen in 2024. We're going to see great miracles in 2024 on the body of Christ. And I'm very excited, um, you know, and he's telling us the blessings are all in obedience. And what he's doing right now is 
there's been certain um there's been certain uh, messages and sermons and prophecies that have come out trying to discipline the body of Christ and it might seem a bit harsh and these um these words that he's given through people to preach might come across as a telling off but what he's doing is he's trying to establish us not to tell us off as such to say as if like he doesn't love us what he's doing is he's trying to change our hearts uh, so that we can basically focus on the right thing and uh, stop looking at things that are in the world and it might seem like there's been a lot of maybe preachers a lot of people who you've heard have been saying repent who've been saying uh, you know, we need to like do more studies. We need to be more focused on the word of God. And this is what he's saying, that this was not about telling you off, but this is about trying to build you because what's going to happen in 2024 is going to be amazing for the body of Christ, but only for those who are ready and who are walking and who are wanting to obey the word of God by believing in what he's saying. So I just wanted to bless you with this word that he put in my heart. The 2024 is going to be a great blessing, but your you and your church have to be ready. You and your church have to be established in the word of God, and you've got to believe in what God is saying. And let us walk together in unity, in love, in oneness, in the Holy Spirit, and not grieve the Holy Spirit. So I just want to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, let your word come to pass for the body of Christ in 2024, Lord God. Create his, in us uh, an obedient heart, Father, um, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, and bless us to be united as one. Bless us to be doers of your word and to keep your commandments of uh, Jesus Christ in love through the body and through your word, Lord God, loving your word, obeying your word. Help us to not focus on things that have been hindering us. And Lord, bless us and prosper us in every part of our lives as we learn to lean on you and uh, seek your will only. In Jesus' name, amen. Until next time, have a blessed week ahead. Bye.